Uh, okay, one from Yasush Azush. Uh, it says, is there any adapter for Nikon lenses for Canon 5D Mark II? Would you recommend any? Yeah, the, there's two I'd recommend. There's, uh, well, actually, there's a number of them, but I would recommend two of them. Is, is one Photodiox Pro, which is F-O-T-O-D-I-O-X, but make sure it's the Pro version. The, the one that costs $50 less is shit, and you may as well just <laughs> throw it in the bin. Uh, it's about 80 bucks. You can buy it uh, online on eBay or on Amazon. Uh, Cinevate from um, Canada, they make one as well, which is around the same price, also very good. Um, if you've got a G-series lens, make sure you, uh, you, you'll need to buy one from MTF Services, which has the adapter, sorry, the, the little iris control, because there's no iris on the G-series lenses. Right. Okay. But all of them are pretty good. Don't buy the one that costs 15 bucks from eBay because there's a reason it costs 15 bucks. Right. You'll get so much play on it, there's no point using it. Right. Pete? Um, yep. Yeah, um, uh, <laughs> who would you recommend in London for 5D post production if you cannot be bothered to do it yourself? Apart from, apart from yourself. <laughs> Five, uh, would I recommend in London 5D po I haven't a clue. That's, it's a funny question though, isn't it? Because there is an implication if you are doing your own 5D stuff that kind of... You're doing you it, do yourself. it yourself. That's yeah. kind of it. Most people I know do it themselves. I know, and I'm sure if you go into Soho, you'll probably find places will do oh, it yeah. and will charge you a fortune for it. But uh, to be honest, I would say be bothered and do it yourself. You save a hell of a lot of money. Right. But obviously, you know, if you can get a pro to colour it and things like that, then mm. great. But it's going to cost you money. I guess it's about looking for an editor, then, isn't it? If they, you know, rather than a production facility, production house, post production house, you need to find yourself an editor with with the right kit. In the yeah, bedroom. and there's lots of editors out there who who will be operating from their home and things like that and mm. do as good a job. A good friend of mine, um, Suresh Kara, who runs DocuMovie.co.uk, he helped out on the the music video shoots, and he did a he. He edits in his house, and he did uh, something for Paul McCartney on his last album. And Paul McCartney came to his house, <laughs> sat up in his loft, <laughs> and sat there with a cup of tea. Fantastic. Rather than going to a Soho production company, he came to Brixton, yeah. which I wouldn't do, to be yeah. honest with you, no offence, Suresh. <laughs> but he, he went to Brixton to his house and sat up there, and he said it was surreal. Yeah. And I think more and more we're having the, the, the bedroom production companies. Yeah, yeah. Any more questions, Pete? Uh, yes, <laughs> hundreds. Uh, coming in so fast, I can I, I can't even copy and paste quick enough. Just um, ignore any from people. Uh, if you mention names, I'll say we just ignore them. I, I, I'm not mentioning <laughs> it. I can't even read the names, let alone the names of the cameras. Anyway, has the 35 millimeter adapters like Litus been phased out with the DSLRs and AF101? What do you think? I think they are very much. Um, I would say, from my own personal point of view, I haven't shot with one for well over a year. Uh, they still give a, I would probably say, a superior image at times, a much more organic looking image than the DSLRs, and they don't have m most of the issues because using it with a proper video camera. But they're big, they're bulky, cumbersome, and they eat up light. Uh, Red Rock just brought out the M3, mm. another version. So they're not dead, but they're, I think they're on the last gasp. With cameras like the F3 coming out and the F101, they're on their last gasp. Right. Okay. It's very, you can tell they're on the last cast because every single company who makes those adapters are making DSLR accessories. Right, okay. A couple more questions and then we'll crack on. Okay, what do you think about Magic Lantern on the 550D? I haven't used it. I have, um, I've seen what it's capable of. Uh, I have to be honest, I haven't had time to install it. Right. I'm sure it's good. Magic Lantern, full stop, is, is genius. And Tram Hudson, who, who wrote it, why he's not been hired by Canon is a travesty. 